12 o'clock high, we'll start. Uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the uh, Board of Water and Sewer Commissioners July 10th, 2019 meeting. Uh, I see a few things on here. Maybe a couple things are out of line, but uh, we'll step in with item number two. Rudzinski excavating. Keith, yes. you, uh, we'll have you sign in over there. W Oxford Road, new water, conne number, new connection. Number 71. Number 71. It's, uh, this is actually going to be another one, 69, but that's down the road. Structures roughly around 45 feet off the road. You know, looking to do a three-quarter inch tap on that 12-inch um, ductile main. Yeah, that's the that's the new main. It's in the gutter. Yeah. It is, yes. Yeah. Uh, usually, out of order. Usually, they apply for the water and everything prior to their building permit. So I think there was a little slip up there. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't it know. has uh, to be approved by the building committee first. Yeah, yeah, that they have, yeah. He has a, he has a. Yeah, I don't know what he's up This guy, the zone, I'm, also the I'm actually here. doing it uh, for my friend. Um, I'm doing this job for uh, Ramson Excavation. Mm -hmm. David, you must know David Ballantoni. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he's actually doing the site work. He did yeah. the site work there. Yeah. And this guy's, this guy right now is in Poland for a month or so. Um, oh no! Wait a minute. This is not the new house that's being built this across the Shepherd Hill driveway. It is. Oh, that's the one there. Because yeah, I know someone else. Old house. Yeah, someone was interested in a lot down the street no. there a while back. No, you no, know? there's going to be okay. two lots. There's enough. Oh, this oh, this is 71, and there'll be a six, um, 69. 69. Yeah. And what are you going to do? Use a yeah, because there's no septic on that, and for the, the main. He's got a Greenwood. Yeah, he's got to put a septic out back. Well, what's the uh, view of the board? <coughs> we have capacity. Yes. We never refused anyone for nope. a single family <laughs> host like yeah, that. Yeah, that's you know? pretty, pretty, pretty good there. They must have had water there before, right? Well, yes, it did. You think so? That yes, house had, the old house had Coakley water? had water there. Coakley, yeah. Off right? the old main, which was 13 feet down. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, yeah? That's right. That was yeah, a deep main. Fred, Fred we, we raised, we put a 12-inch ductile in there, made it on that <laughs> side of the street that Keith's working on, yeah. um, and we raise it for, for, to the five foot level. So you, you just want uh, number seventy one for tonight, Keith? Thirteen feet. I've, did, I've That's been it. down there. Um, I I don't know when the other one's in the works. Yeah. I think he's gonna he's building it to sell it. So so if there's a time frame, we're only gonna do one at a time. I think, <clears throat> right? It's that's mm -hmm. a yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah. all they're asking for. At yeah. This point. Yeah. 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 Did they file a building permit for the other one or? Uh, I, I know the building permit that the foundations in yeah, yeah. foundations in and um, oh, that's <coughs> it's actually backfilled so mm. it's well, been a 71 right for 71 right. yeah but did they get a building permit for 69 yet? I you don't know I All couldn't right. tell you I don't know <coughs> make a motion to approve second okay we have a motion and it's been seconded to give water to Rosinski excavating the 71 Dudley Oxford Road and it'll follow the town of Dudley Regulations with the Just make grass sure it's key to get a building permit is approved for that site. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will. I will. I'll. I'll give uh, David a call okay. yeah. as soon as I leave. Yeah, here. make sure he's up to speed with the. Uh, I'm yeah. sure he's, if he's gone this far, he has a building permit. You know. Yeah, a it's kind of been in the works yeah. now for over a year. So uh, the only thing you'll you'll be in touch with George as far as. Yeah, I have a check here for for the connection okay, for fee, the connection for three fifty for tonight, and then. Um, when we get close, uh, whatever. Coming, uh, yeah, we just want that permit, uh, that uh, building permit. Make sure it's it's everything is all set and signed by them, and then we'll take the check and yeah, the process everything. Okay. okay. So all those in favor of granting a uh, aye. Aye. aye unanimous. You all set? Okay. Thank Keith, you. Keith, just stay in touch with uh, the judge. I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll get this to you by the. Okay. Uh, yeah. Give me a call. Let me know what. Uh, yeah. Make sure he's all set. With it. Thanks, all Keith. Right. Thank you. Conrad okay. Allen, Spruce Street proposed development. Come on up, fellas. Sign in, too. Thank you. Good evening. Thanks for getting us on the oh. agenda here. <clears throat> I met with the town planner <laughs> to talk to him about um, this land. I, do you have a Yeah, we have a little. Got a little. Let, let me give you this top line, Jay, so you can. A little different than what we have, maybe. Okay, it's a little bit, a little bit more yeah, defined. It, it goes from here all the way down. Oh, so there are empty. Uh, it's all empty land. It's about so sixty-one thousand square feet. Uh huh. It's uh, in a res ten zone area. Uh huh. And I'm looking to find out about the availability of water and sewer. The um, doesn't matter what service. Um, 
you haven't talked to an engineer or anything to do uh, design work on, on no water I just, I, I just want to make sure that I mean if you said look you could only either have water or sewer I'd be here for sewer I'd like to do both but um, you know I, I can pull wells in that's not so a problem. no no out of our curiosity Spruce Street connects to uh, runs between green and chess and uh, green mill and mill it would come out by Rich Carmignani's house. It that's right. That's yeah. exactly right. And Although there's a road, there's a driveway that splits two houses there. Right. That's, that's like the road. Easement. That's yeah. absolutely the road. There, there's a road there now. No. Oh, okay. This is a no. paper road. Okay. Right. So if if he was to tie in with water, he would come in off the 12 inch off Mill Street. No, I, I would come off a of green. That would be a gravity feed. No. no for no, water. For water. No, water. Oh, for sewers. Oh, well, yeah. Water. No, water. For, for water off yeah. of okay yeah that's pressure yeah. under pressure oh of course we have a course. main we have a 12 inch new ductile main that's through a brand there new one. Brand and, new. It would, gotcha. and it would go into spruce street with an eight inch main reduced to an eight inch for your street okay with probably a couple hydrants there and then it would connect into green street which is a six inch with a reducer okay so in other yeah. words would have a t connection with t gate yeah. valves gate on each valves side. Both there uh, right. and and uh Grid it. Yeah. For circulation, three-way valve on each yeah. end. Yeah, yeah. And with with double valves on each. You know, for yeah. For, uh, this way you can. This way here, it's not a dead end. Right. Water circulation. Right. So right. We're not getting a call. Doing the water. water. Yeah. yeah. No you know? pressure. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, I'm sure. You know, and like sewer. Gravity. You would do a gravity main for the houses down to uh, green. To green. Is a manhole? Right. Did you look? Is there a manhole? Yeah. Uh, it's right around there. Yeah. So, I mean it. Whatever the engineer wants, cut a manhole in, and I'm, I'm sure yeah. we're going to have to do a T. Um, well, you'd have to put a manhole if it. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's it's like 75 feet away the manhole, so we'd have to put a manhole there. And we would have our. Uh, you would have to have a drop a plan with. with oh, the of course, specs on of that course. What I'm doing now is just trying to get all my eggs together to see if this is a viable proposition. Um, well, there'd be fees involved too. Of course. Just so you know, uh, like the water main extension fee, the sewer main extension fee, then a fee for each what, house. What are we talking about for c fees for extensions? What's the sewer, like 12000 I don't remember. Yeah, we got plus connection fees to each house, uh, each house to, for meters, and, uh, um, and you'd have to take care of the line going into the house from the yep. curb stops. Yep. Uh, but you'd be doing all the construction work for all, all the mains of the sewer. You have to build the road, basically. The road. Yeah. Yeah. Responsible it for is, that. would be an expensive proposition, but... See, like off the top of my head, from thinking in the past, the water tie-in fee could be approximately $8,000, if I'm not mistaken. And, what, about 3000 per house for the uh, service, for the right of the water. And your sewer, remember you mentioned it was like 12000 to extend the water? Yeah, I, I so don't have So the sewer that. could possibly be yeah, around 12000 for the right I, to tie in. Again, Jay, I'm just yeah. trying to find yeah. out if the yeah. services are yeah. available. Is, is it a, yeah. what, yeah. What's well, just so you know there are. Yeah. yeah uh, there are fees associated. It, it's still yeah. going to be cheaper than septic and wells. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Five. We wouldn't have a problem with the water, and I don't think we'd have any problem with the sewer for just five houses. Um, as long six. as they conform to all, what we're looking for as far as the, uh, uh, the installment, each one would have a separate pump. I would, oh, no, I'm sorry, the gravity, 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 gravity fed, so that, yeah. no, that, wouldn't be, that wouldn't be the case. Okay. Um, and like I said, you'd have an 8-inch ductile main, a couple hydrants, gate valves. Uh, you know, the actual way, if, if we have the construction company come in and do all that, we'd monitor it. Of course. Make sure everything's done right. Each house would have a separate service to it, uh, then there'd be connection fees on that with that. Yeah, so. I've done a few subdivisions in Dudley, so I... Yeah. <laughs> the, um, the shaded areas on here, are those existing buildings? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yes. that's okay. That's the house up and back. All right. Yeah, one of them on Chestnut Street goes all the way back Go, goes to Spruce. In the back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <clears> so... How, how old... None of my business, but how old do you think that is, Spruce Street? How old? Yeah, was that designed? How long ago was that designed? Oh, hell, it was abandoned in 1941. <laughs> <laughs> really? I, that's when it was. Not, actually, to answer your question, it was 1909 that um, uh, Stevens Linen did that whole subdivision, that whole layout really? there. Oh, yeah, I've got, I've got the title. It's, it's fascinating to read. Really? That was all Stevens Linen property? It the, was, yeah. Mill Yard, no property. Yep. Okay. Well, well, what's the what's the uh, we have we I mean George, you're confident for those they want to be uh, 
four bathroom. Uh, oh no, they're going to be little starter homes. You that's know, what like I'm getting two, at, bath two, and a half. Two yeah, baths. I say a starter home, two eighty, but that's yeah, yeah. two baths. Yeah. Yeah, we have no yeah. problem as far as we go with that. No, absolutely not. Yeah, uh, but today's water saving fixtures, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, down in that area, you shouldn't have any. Power. There's a lot of pressure in that area anyway. You're not probably preparing. I know that. that and so how many units are you looking at? I'm sorry. How many units are you looking six. at? Six. Um, I, oh, six. I, six. Again, six, the, ta the town plan has said that I should look at condos. Mm. I don't know. I just want to find out if I get water and sewer. If you say I got enough for six houses, and then I I'm good. Well, condos. Then we get into the issue. One, two, which we've run into before with condos. We don't want one water meter. No, we you know, oh, no, Jay, you know how this all started? Yeah, yeah. With yeah. Chestnut Street in Dudley. I, I did a two a condex, yeah. a duplex, yeah. and we ran only one meter mm. and spliced off. That's at 78. Friends of mine went there. Okay. Yeah, and we ended up bringing a new water service yeah. into it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, so that's when you pass yeah. the whole thing. We need separate water mains. Yeah, you end up with a problem. You yeah, a problem. I mean, how do you shut off the water? Who has, has control, control of the water? Yeah, meter yeah. Right, has control of right. The so, so, yeah, that's. I know that you need separate. Everything has to be separate. I created the problem <laughs> inadvertently. <laughs> but, but, yeah. So, so six single-family homes you're asking for. Yes. So, in other words, first phase, George, would be for you to say you spoke to the water and sewer department yeah. and it's, that's okay or not okay with them, then you would have to go to your engineering, the right. town plan. Well, like I said, I talked with the Dudley planner to start yeah, out yeah. with, you know, yeah. can we do yeah. this? He said, yeah, then water sewer, then the planning board, then engineering plans. Should we go, should be all right by us? I don't see an issue. Do we have a... We, I mean, we, I don't, we, we don't need to make a motion or anything. We're not. Yeah, because we're not. Yeah. We're right. not approving an actual plan. It's, it's, it's all advisory. You're advising him that you, yeah. we have the adequate yeah. water we and sewer to, uh, to supply whatever. Outside of some giant unforeseen, yeah. the yeah. world blows up and, <laughs> you right. know what I mean? Right. So we'd be you in know? support of it. <laughs> we're in support right. of your five, or five or six, six single family homes. So there's a bunch of lots there. There are some lots. A bunch of them are buildable because of the, like this. Goes this way. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, okay. we don't have a. Uh, uh, we don't have a plan. Right well, now. no, I, I'm Maybe not looking for a board. I, I, I'm just looking I, but for advice. I'm just saying we should have something on paper when we can do it that we spoke tonight. Right. Sure. So for records, right, George? That well, at least we spoke tonight. And you're acknowledging that they that we do have that, the infrastructure yeah, to yeah. to so uh, we'll, provide. We'll have that on file. I mean, I go back to the '90s when we had the or the '80s when we had the water yeah, monitor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just want to have something on file that we did speak tonight. Great, and we'll have that. We'll do something during the week, George. Will. So, do you want me to send you a letter? Or are you going to send me a letter? How? Well, no, there's no letter required, but the next step would be you get an approved plan in right. here, and right. so we can review that. That's the right. most important thing. Okay. See exactly how we want to set sure. that up and sure. uh, do that. So your engineer would kind of be contacting me or right. to, just to stop right. things off. So when do you become full-time? Well, I'm interim. now full-time, basically, <laughs> but, <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. Still they, interim until we... <laughs> still interim doing... <laughs> I mean, we're in a new calendar year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, like I said, we'll just have a letter on file that we spoke tonight. Good. Good. in the office so there's no that that way i can have something yeah, to go to the planning yeah, board because we will need it for the building inspector and everything else because what it'll be it'll be an hoa mm -hmm. where the people maintain their own street mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. kind of stuff uh, so it won't be a burden on the town mm -hmm. oh it's going to stay a private a private yes. type of way okay yes um so it's about 600 all right that the uh, there's issues with that on a private way because um you own the sewer and water basically we'll service certain things i have to give you easements uh, e well easements but we, we we're not going to take the responsibility if there's a main break there or something like that i mean we have to respond in an emergency to provide people their water of course but a lot of those private roads and like one of them is up the street here where there's been a sewer project done and the road hasn't been accepted yet and the in the uh, pump station that was put in is all wrong which street is that George? eisenhower oh really yes and it's a major problem now because I was able to commandeer some bonding funds to replace one of the pumps there in the sewer station. That's not our responsibility. It's a private way. We, yeah. don't, we don't have any uh, legal entanglement with it because it's not accepted by the town or us. <clears throat> but you've got to be careful with that stuff because uh, if, if uh, something happens or something goes with the infrastructure, which is hardly unlikely if it's done right, 
um, you would be the one to bear the well, cost of. I did the Dudley Heights condos, and you are in there doing pressure yeah, testing. Yeah, that's but that's on an, ex an accepted town road, because it Warsaw Ave is a well, town but, road. Well, but but the the whole infrastructure inside mm -hmm. is not. Yeah, it's if all it, part it, of the condo. No, we're only responsible for servicing the meter if there's a problem. Okay. Anything else that happens is you, like plumbing issues, things yep. like that. If your service is gone, say there's a leak in the service of those condos, yep. it's your responsibility to fix that. We oversee it just to make sure it's done right or yep. we service yeah, the meter. Of course. That of course. kind of thing. Well, why, just, would, why wouldn't this be a town accepted road? I, I don't know that it wouldn't. Uh, I, I, it, it would be I my mean, desire my to do opinion, that. We would make, I would consider that's, making that recommendation to the town. Well, the, the that's not Because our we <coughs> seem to get stuck with those problems well, down the, the road with a block sewer main or the well, can you, and water main. Why can't one we just do any of the problems, is it's not going to 50 feet wide, the road. Well, It's only a 40 foot wide road. If he's going as far as Grand Eastwood, you might as well go the whole way and get an accepted town. Oh, I agree. Buddy. I, I yeah. just didn't think. I, but if it's if that's it's, but that's planning board. Yeah, that's all. That's that, all we're not. I, I'm just saying there is I a. I want to get mired down and yeah. there is certain we'll things no that we'll over. do and we can't do on a private private situation yep. like that. Yep. We of course respond in emergency because we can't deny people water sewer. Sure. Uh, you know, but we will bill whoever is the owner uh, owner of that whatever yep. we go in and do. But course, well, I mean, from the street in, it's always been the homeowners. Responsibility. That's right, correct. But he, but he's talking about the mains in the road. Yeah, yeah, the right. mains in the road. Something right. would happen. Say a seal, uh, uh, one of the joints let go, or something crazy happened, flooded the place. You know, people got flooded. Sewer things back like that. up in the Sewer road. back up. Any, it, it, it's hardly unlikely, but it does happen. Just from fluke things. Just to let you know. That's just because men do it, right? So <laughs> if you have that situation and it's a private road, do you require them to have a a bond? No. Oh, well, well, all the, the bond's going to run out, but. <laughs> would they have to form an association or something? Yeah. Or yes, yes. Yeah. and then you'd have to put money forward toward with that right. association exactly. so that they have the money in case there is a emergency arise or something, some yeah. certain fund. Right. I, I don't right. know exactly. Right. You no, know, I've been involved in it, so I understand what you're saying. So yeah, hey, you know, you know. Chapter We're just protecting ourselves. Yeah. Oh, of course. Water main break, sewer main backup. Jay, I live so, in this town. You know, yeah, because <laughs> we've, we've we've run into it in other jobs. Like I say, the last job we attached the bond to fix a sewer pump. I can't get over an Eisenhower. It's amazing what you would believe that, that I've had to go through with that Eisenhower being there. Still, just, still haven't. We man, protected it was a ourselves form of to a degree. Inspector. <laughs> we protected it. Well, they raised the road later on after everything was at first approved. Oh, they raised to get it on the house oh, and oh, screwed oh. everything up. It messed up the whole sewer pump station. Went too low now. Who approved the as built then? I don't know who did it back then. It was beyond. Wow. Yeah. You know, what a screw up. Yeah. It just it went by the boards. It's kind of slipped by a little bit. So. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Thank you. See. I'm sorry. This is Patrick Sweeney. We work together. Yeah. I build them. He sells them. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Have See a you later. Later. Thanks. Okay. okay. Item number four: review of superintendent's job description. Okay. Um, after we had the uh, working meeting a couple weeks ago. What came of that is uh, what I, I emailed it out. I mean, emailed it around. It, it's now a two page. Did you get a copy mm -hmm. of it? Mike? Yeah, okay. Cut it down to a little, just a shade over a page. Cut it in half, basically. <laughs> Cut a lot of the uh, wordiness out of it. And, uh, but uh, review it and we can make a decision on, the, on whether or not that is complete. I don't have a copy of that anymore. Did you get the I email? I didn't get the email. No. Okay, I, I, I used that white water. Yeah, I'll, have to, I'll send you an email or I'll get yours and I'll okay. try to send you one so you have it. Some of the further information that I have uh, quarter reflects that a little bit. Um, so I, I can. I mean, review it and see about it, but there's some changes that may start occurring a little bit on the structure. Nothing major, um, but I'll, when I go through my report, I'll tell you. Thanks. On the bottom of the back page. Well, what, I know some of that can get too intense. Yeah, I mean, you know it was, we just yeah, cut out a lot of, a lot of, a lot of uh, duplication, yeah. a lot of... So what, what, where, where, where are you going with this, Scott? You think it's time to well, appoint it, that... It, position. It, it just needs to be. Uh, just wanted to go through the uh, the job description. We've only got uh, three out of the five here today, mm -hmm. but 
Um, at some point, we're going to need to uh, um, move away from an interim yeah. superintendent yeah. Yeah. and make it uh, uh, one way or another. We need to make it permanent. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so uh, if, uh, if we want to table that till next month, we can do that. Keep you know keep keep it on the. Uh, oh, we should keep this on the burner. Keep it on the radar. Keep it on the burner, so we know. In other words. What what you're feeling is that position should be filled before the year's end. Something on that idea, you know. Uh, next week, well, I would already August so. coming. Maybe by so, uh, September yeah. at least. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. yeah. no, was I, I nail it down. Yeah, uh, nail it down so that we can uh, we right. can get it get it filled get put get it posted get it filled and um, and make it permanent so that uh, we can uh, now we can move on. I mean, now I don't know how to go about it. Does it have to go through a personnel board? Or I asked them that when I met with them on the administration. It, it, it'd be a, if it'd be an in-house candidate, which would mean. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's you know, I mean, kind of unusual. I don't know how that would kind of play out. You, you go to a meeting and you've are, you know to try to ask questions about a job you're already in. I don't know. The, I'd have to see. Yeah, that's I'd have to see. that's a. Um, I would assume we'd have to post it somehow. I don't think we can just fill a position. <laughs> Well, you have to um, post internally for two post weeks. Post internally. Yeah. Two weeks um, internally, and then at that point, there's a but candidate. If, you know, we, that's, why, that's why I thought it was important. Bef before we do that, we need to have this. Right. It, this. Yeah, uh, we yeah. have to have something to this hire, is the, too. This is the job. If we, don't, if we don't have something to hire, too, then yeah. it's open to them. <laughs> I could take the position. You should get the bread. <laughs> Here you go, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, I have enough. No, I have. Over the years, I've gained enough knowledge to, to do this job. Well, I don't have the knowledge you or wanna, the licensing to do that job. You want to have this on the agenda for August and hope maybe we have a full house? Yes. Yeah. And we can uh, make sure we move on this into September, October and get, get it done. Get, uh, maybe we can work to get it uh, you know, work on something. That Top priority. I'm gonna. Leaders. I'm gonna discuss a couple of things with Bob on it because he he was involved when we were giving Scott the information. I just want to touch base on a couple of things, but that's yep. that's no big deal. That's something yeah, we can uh, we can well as I said we can work it. We can't make any decisions outside of a meeting, but mm -hmm. we can pass it around and 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 if if we have to pull another meeting together to finish it up or we work on finishing it up maybe next for next month. Well, actually, okay. that'd probably be a good idea for August. Yeah. It's Everybody's got it in their hand. Kind of next uh, uh, in the August meeting, we can kind of get the word out. Hopefully, we can finish this thing up, and then, then we can then make we can a meeting, move it. All right. So okay. we can start the hiring process in okay. September. We'll keep it on the front burner then. Uh, item number five: new administrative assistant. I just yeah, can't I'll get uh, too much of a conversation. I'll I'll uh, brief you uh, on that. Um, I'm sorry for the paperwork because we don't have a secretary and we've been straight out. <laughs> but um, there are some job applications. There were four applicants to start. One was uh, was dismissed um, for certain reasons. Uh, left us three. The three were interviewed by the personnel board and myself. Um, they were all good interviews. All did very good. One particular one stood out more than the others. Uh, and the personnel board unanimously voted on that one you see on that paper, uh, that candidate there with the circle on it. And I support that vote that they did. I thought that was a good candidate. I think it, she'll do very well for the town. So what's the but, time frame on that, George? Um, I, they're not exactly sure themselves, but there's supposed to be a two-week gap there because now that that person's job has opened up. But I'm trying to see if there's a way she can transition both jobs on like part-time, part-time, like half and half try to get indoctrinated because there has to be some work done on the water sewer with the with the meter reading starting now and getting the bills out you know Brian is covering a lot of the office but even he can't do all that that's a lot of work and, and I'm asking Lori to help us a little bit it, it's an internal things. it's an internal candidate working inside the building uh, there's no reason why yeah you can't both you can't yeah. work I'm can gonna work out a deal to, to yeah. cover both offices I'm gonna notify the town uh, the town administrator tomorrow oh, when I sure. talk to him at the meeting well that we, this, we'd like to this person has been notified no not yet no. I, I once the board approves the nomination tonight oh. which is I need a vote I will give that information to the head of the chairman of the personnel board and they will give the person the okay. okay so the personnel board is looking for a uh, vote of approval on that correct candidate. okay yeah. and, I, and I think we have to um, the, the pay because we don't have a town pay scale 
uh, we can just leave it, leave it where we hire. It would be right it. now until the town administrator does his change of pay scales that he's looking at right now. We submitted a pay scale that's substant that is, is meets the requirements of the new duties of the town uh, administrative assistant, which is different from way back. So um, right at that point, that would be the change when he deems the changes are going to occur because it's going to like be a town wide type of change thing, I believe. Because uh, people's jobs are increasing and their conformities to the, what they're paying is not. So they're trying to make that, and this is going to also go play into what I'm going to be discussing later. Um, so I say it's going to stay it is right now, move in there, and later on things will be adjusted as, as they go. That's the best I can. So they want to vote from us to acknowledge their choice. That you approve the choice made by the personal board and myself and recommend the recommendation without naming the name. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, I'll bring it to the personnel board chairman. And he'll make the announcement to that candidate that they got the job. I'll uh, I'll make a motion then that uh, that we approve the that we um, accept accept the uh, recommendation of the personnel board and our superintendent for uh, the hiring of the candidate uh, 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 candidate recommended um, at the uh, starting rate that uh, the same starting rate that was that our previous. Uh, administrative assistant started that. Okay, we have a uh, vote to, uh, we have a, a motion, a motion to uh, accept the uh, report from the uh, personnel board on the administrative assistant for the water department, water and sewer department. Do we have a second? A second. It's been seconded. And all, any other discussion on that? I just want, uh, yeah, like, because I, be I believe they're gonna look for, for a pay, pay rate. Yeah. Um, started at the same rate that uh, that our previous administrative assistant started at. I think that's okay. All those in favor of that motion? So I think they're about the same caliber. Uh, so unanimous on. So you'll contact those people as soon as possible. I'll let, I'll let Peter Fox know. Okay. Thank you. Can we uh, uh, go ahead, Mr. What? Chair? Can we take number seven and move that to the next? Just so yeah, I can get yeah, it out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's nothing major. Um, it. We're just. We'd like to dismiss the. the pool meter policy uh, it's really not cost effective time effective and even for the people uh, it doesn't save anybody a whole lot of money we're getting a lot of small pool type fills top offs things like that uh, another thing which actually Brian mentioned to me which was kind of which was kind of right uh, we really don't want to start getting into 30,000 gallon pool fills when we're getting into conservation for the, for the summer months. <coughs> uh, it is getting it is getting uh, you know we're, we're getting taxed right now with a lot of water usage uh, and we want to be careful. Uh, we've allowed it, and we haven't had many major, and people haven't luckily haven't had many major pool fills, but we can do calculations off the sewer rates in, in house anyway, just by you know the type of pool of fill, uh, uh, you know, a thirty thousand. We you know we, we can get a confirmation how much water was put into a pool and deduct it, and know you know pretty much uh, uh, what they're going to save and what they're not going to save. And a lot of times they're not really saving what for the price of putting a pool meter in and all that you know because yeah, you have a fee to go out there and put yeah it put it in the time frame and sometimes we have to undo the we, when we undo the pin then it's left because we can't get back in the house and this and that and sometimes it's just not cost effective to us to do that so we just like to kind of look at the, the your approval that we just remove that policy right now and we can always enact it again but leave it at our discretion uh well to be honest with you i'd rather do away with the exception meters completely anyway that's, if you look at it and you do the, do the math, it's cheaper to pay water and sewer to fill your pool yeah. than it is to truck it in. If yeah. you look at how much they charge to truck it in, and you have a water ban in effect? No. no. The, we're conserving through the state regs. We're we going to keep the, yeah. conservation. But like I said, a 30,000-gallon pool is a lot of water to be, you know, for a pool. I'd rather have them truck it in themselves. and It's their problem. Right. Well, that's what I mean. But give them the option. You, you can yeah. truck it in or you pay the water and sewer. Yeah. I mean... And that's, it you know, still comes out cheaper for them, and you should be promoting water conservation anyway. And this kind of puts that, kind of mandates conservation, you know? Yeah. Hey, if, if you I mean, we'll do what we have to do, but we'd like to get rid of so it. So do you have some wording for that? No, just your approval that, that, that we're going to just discontinue that program. Discontinue the meter program. Pool meter program. Yeah. Pool meter program. Yeah. Pool meter program. Yeah. And in other words, if you use it, you're paying water and sewer, or you're paying just water. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not cost effective anymore. I don't see a lot of pools going in when you're on a water main. Yeah. yeah. All right. Do we have a motion to accept the uh, 
revised pool meter policy from the superintendent? Is it a, uh, is, it a re, uh, is it a revised or you uh, want to aban you want to abolish it? Abandoned. Abolish it. Yeah. As of this time, I'd like to abolish it. I mean, okay. further down the line, if something else changes or some crazy thing, we can always reenact something else. But right now, I'd like to abolish it and go with the normal rate usage. I make a motion that we eliminate the pool meter program as it stands and uh, and uh, allow the uh, superintendent to. Uh, Well, just to eliminate the pool. Yeah. Policy. And second. It's been seconded. Any other further discussion? None. All those in favor? Aye. So that's an unanimous on that, Judge. Thank you. Now you want to jump into a Union, uh, yeah. number six? Yeah, and, and Bob's very familiar with this, too. We've, we've had some discussions about this. Uh, it's, and um, thanks to some of the guys just learning the new schooling out there and the new state uh, state mandates and state uh, things coming into play. Um, our positions right now are outdated for what they are. Um, we have been under the old union verbiage as far as our job descriptions for quite a long time from uh, we've been on the backs of the highway. That's all changed now. Uh, our positions have increased. Our, our um, we're not, we're not just the, the guys with the shovels coming out and digging the water mains and things. Your duties and responsibilities. Our duties and responsibilities is actually quadrupled, uh, if you want to use that word. They've, they've gone way overboard. Uh, the mandates that the state are requiring for testing and licensing are out of sight. Um, all our employees as of right now, which I have three, myself, Brian, and Luke, have the licenses to run the plant. However, Luke, I think, is still in training with his because he hasn't been in the system long enough to be a full operator. Brian's on the cuff. I can't remember if he's, he might be full in one thing and I can't remember, but he's on the cuff. Um, these, these have to be changed to make it more suitable to the job and what the job entitles. And it also, this is going to affect hiring. Um, right now, the positions are as this. We have the superintendent or intern or whatever you want to call it. Um, he's the plan operator, he's the, he administrates the work, all that. It really doesn't change too much. He does most of the administrative stuff as far as all of the project stuff comes in, this and that. The, Brian is the assistant plant operator, which is going to have to change a little bit. Um, he is basically supposed to be running the physical plant of the operation of the water plant. Um, Luke is just what they call uh, um, a laborer, which is totally not what he does. Uh, and, he's, and he's being sort of backbladed by that you old union verbiage. So we've done, uh, there's been some uh, talk with DEP. Bob's been involved in some of these talks too. He's familiar with most of this better than I, better than I am. Um, they are changing the descriptions of the job classifications in many of these water departments while well, they're looking for the water departments to do it to start reflecting what their jobs really entitle. So what we would do is we would change our job positions and right now the union would have to uh, be sort of uh, looking at this later on because it does affect the union in a way because things are going to be changing for the hiring processes. It's all in the union contract. Yeah. They, so they, that, that's going to have to be, it. That's well, they, be amended. This is going to have to be approved by the board, and then the administrator has been aware of this, and he's going to probably be on board with this too, because it has to change. It's it's not uh, it's not conducive for the job anymore. When's the union contract up? Next year, next year. So we wouldn't be looking for the hire right away, but that would be coming down the pike with some kind of. Well, let me get it. Me, let me just first say what what the job titles would kind of look like. Um, as the new title positions would be, they would um, be the superintendent, who would uh, be a he'd be an operator. He'd also be a working superintendent who would have all the licenses. He'd be doing the day-to-day -day, uh, jobs, what the uh, oversee the jobs, do all the big project stuff, you know, like we're doing now with the wells, things like that. Um, just as a, you know, some other you know, the, all the superintendent uh, things that, that he does uh, to make sure that all both water and sewer. Uh, uh, things are being met, the guys are doing their jobs, things like that. The next one down from him, the second, sort of the second one in charge would be, say, plant operator number one, which would say be Brian. Um, and Brian would be the second in charge if I'm out or whoever's out as superintendent. He would be overseeing the operations of the physical plant more than even the superintendent at the time. He would be in charge of 
the DEP reporting for the uh, for uh, chemical additions, uh, sampling, uh, lead and copper, uh, whatever. Just that facet right. of the physical plant. He would be the the working physical plant operator, uh, administrator. Um, he would take charge of the crew below him um, to uh, go do day-to-day -day things or delegate some work here and there in conjunction with the superintendent, whatever. The next one below that would be the plant operator. We're calling it number two right now for better terminology, but I think number two is pretty well sized it up. He would be a plant operator also, okay? But he would be in the third, third one down in the sequence, okay? He would be doing a lot of what would be the laborer's position or the maintenance position, the old terminology, but he is a plant operator and he needs to be treated as a plant operator. He's licensed and he maintains his, his accreditation to be licensed and he can operate the plant. This is where the problems come into play with the old union positions. There's no such thing in the old union about operators and, <clears throat> and, and physical plant operators. It's all mechanic and maintenance and that's all no good. It doesn't work anymore. So that's all going to change. Now here's where it comes uh, the issue. Plant, we had four people at one time on the Dudley Water Department. Mm -hmm. We're down to three right now, myself and two others. Yeah. We're looking down the line to hire a third laborer. Oh, I'm not going to use that term. Yeah. A third position, which would be a, a third operator's position. Here's the problem. Um, as, is, as is right now, and it's going to have to change, and it will change because we're going to put some stipulations into, the, into this thing, the uh, position opens up as of right now, the position would open up somebody from internally, say the highway, sewer would let say the highway come over, we would have to train that individual for a number of months, six months say, then he would have to go get his operator's license, his T1, D1 licenses, which take a year or more, okay, even if he passes, okay. We can't have that anymore. We need certified operators or operators in training or operators who've taken the test already to be the ones come on board. So what we would do is we would notify the town uh, departments that as of a certain time frame or date within months or whatever the Dudley Water Department will be seeking qualified applicants with their license qualified licenses to be plant operator number three in in uh, which is a position open I'm probably going to say right now half and half sewer and water to get some acclimation into some sewer and in water but he would have his licenses already in place and it would give the opportunity for anybody interested in the town to go out and get their licenses which they can do it would, you know, they take a little time and effort, but they could do it, and at least they would be able to get their foot in the door, and we wouldn't have this issue with constantly training people because it's getting ridiculous. I need certified operators. I don't have enough bodies to run the place. If, if I, got, I had two guys out for a number of weeks, I was by myself, and if I was out of town, if I got hurt or something like that, I'd be calling Webster for an operator. I can't do that. I got to have enough people to run the plant. Uh, it's not my choice. It's the state's choice. The state mandates these things. I cannot have uh, guys without training fooling around with the chemicals and that. If somebody gets hurt, like we have a problem I'm going to discuss shortly, uh, we, we could have some trouble. And this is why with these issues on other towns, they've decided to uh, get licenses for all their people, uh, for people coming into the, in, into the water departments. So I just like approval of the board that, that, that these changes, that you've accepted the, to these changes, and we could tweak things here and there. But this verbiage with the union right now, uh, whatever you want to call it, for what the old style stuff, is is out the door. It's just not acceptable. So basically, what's going to need to happen, at least what it looks like to me, is we need to professionalize the union contract. Correct. Correct. But because because side. it's within the union, within mm -hmm. that contract has to be changed. Yeah. For the water and, people. And that, so that process is going to have to happen in order to do that. Now we can, if if we can gather the information that we need. What, you know, what, what, what it is that DEP is saying. Well, uh, what, what DEP has made, uh, uh, DEP is, is not mandating anything right away. They're, they're reaching out and, and, and they're voicing their recommendations of what they'd like to see. Yeah. Well, it, it's, it's, is, is he, it's, actually, it's actually already in place. It's yeah. So you're a little incorrect saying that they're not forcing it yet because by law you're supposed to have, well, you need the superintendent to oversee everything. You need a primary operator. He's the one that's legally responsible day to day. Um, so that would be who your next person would be. And he has to be fully certified. He can't be OIT. Um, under that would be just operators. So and they could be whether you call them operator one, operator two, doesn't really whatever. Just doesn't, operators. Yeah, just yeah. operators. But no more labor. Right. Can't it's not a labor unless you just want someone to 
to, to run a shuttle or something. It doesn't set up the descriptions of what the guys are really doing. All well, right our guys now. have to be multi-trained to go. And I, I really station. don't at this point. Right, well, that's that's where it comes into it, and I've gone back and forth with DEP <coughs> over the years on it. Um, if you got them on call, mm -hmm. so you got to do an on-call rotation. If they're in here legally responsible, anyone that's OIT right now, technically, whoever the fully certified operator is, is supposed to be in here with them. Under the current regulations, not even what they're trying to push. Through. See, what the problem is, we don't even have enough personnel. To exactly, you you don't have it. You can't meet it right now. No. I I know Brian's really close. If he isn't already, he's got close. It. Yeah, he took the added he, thing to for two because you know, but that that would be fine in case we get into the new well field, which I'll explain. Yeah, later. I mean, by the time he'll he'll get his full before you get a a, a certified operator anyway. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, so you should be covered there, but. You know, right, Luke would be technically, a while. Be yeah, technically, Luke isn't qualified to come in and do weekend operations, on-call operations, yeah. because when you're on call, you you have to be able to come in and make a decision, and that's where they say, if you're not a fully operate, fully certified operator, you, you can't make those, you decisions. Can't make those decisions. Yeah, we have to be within reach and of the one hour. In case he has an issue or something, I have to be within town of Brian, within ability to back him up. Right. So which is the only way we're getting away with it right now. But right. So could, Luke, Luke could come in and look at things, yeah. but he can't make that de de determination. determination. He can come in and say, "All right, this doesn't look normal. I got to call, yeah, call George or Brian." Yeah. So so we're cut. We're kind of covered right now, but it's it, we're we're you know like I said, I can't have another a guy come in off the green and say, "Okay, now we're going to train this guy. This is that." You know, it takes a good so year or more to, to, to stop. I think we all got a good gist of what you're telling us. Do you need a vote from us or permission from us to work for the next year's contract? That you recognize that the what I've discussed with yeah. you and that you support that. Change, can, changes need to be change made to the union like contract. The changes to be made, which you support the changes, but it would go, our contract doesn't go up till next year, but like I said, I'd be in contact with the union, say, hey, listen, Here's and the, and the thing we had described this about the coming. new hire, <laughs> this is what's coming up. And all of that. Yep. Yeah, well, so that everybody's aware, yes. But, you know, Great. Bob and I had a discussion about the union. Yeah, I said, listen, it's a matter of the state. I, I said, the union is second yeah. fiddle. Yeah. I get, I'm not going to play games Just the because union. the union says something doesn't yeah. mean that you can break the law because yeah. the union yeah. contract yeah. says yeah. something. And I've learned so. that, that I'm not going to play fiddle with the union. If they want to accept our practice, that's fine. If they don't, they can file their grievances all they want. I have the state to back me up. Right, so, right. And, and that's the way it's going to be. Can, now, we get, can we get copies of uh, those DEP requirements? Yeah, they're right the, in the regulations. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the, we had some, Brian had some. I, they're I, right in the regulations. The, the yeah. regulations. Bob, Bob can actually, he, he, I, don't have his, I don't do email too much, but if you want to, so no, you can email. I can email you. Yeah, everything George is talking about is backed up on black and white. Yep. So that we can, um, you know, and, and I guess what I would recommend maybe is uh, to uh, um, add that to the, um, for next month's agenda to be able so that everybody can take a look at it, if you can send that around can we um can we get a copy of the union contract just so <laughs> i can go through that i'll see if brian has he, he's the big union guy he's a well what's the term always use primary primary Prim yeah it's I primary like water i like that better than primary operator one operator. like i said it could be tweaked it's got to be tweaked <laughs> it's just, it's just words it's just yeah language. but it's just you can pull it right off of dep's regulations yeah, that's, that's what that's, that's the why, title that's on there the regulation. yeah. in other words everybody's doing the same job they're all certified to do it aside from in training yeah i'm just saying in time we'll all be set to go but the new people we kind of we have to start looking at ourselves with certified operators or operators right. in training to start off yeah, right. with a third yeah. hire well uh, bob you're more in tune with that language yeah would you want to make a motion that we recognize george's uh yeah concerns I, I make a motion that we to go forward yeah i make a motion that we we push forward with the you know getting the union contract to be in agreement with the state regulations yes, as to certify that perfect i'll, I'll second, yeah. and second it and any other discussion all those in favor aye all right so that's unanimous george that you Thanks. have approval to start working which means the union the town administrator and we'll get that report from the dep we'll use the yeah, I, was say, I, I can get the Right out of the regulations, it'll it'll give you the title name and what the responsibilities are. I don't think we know. I don't think we want like a couple somebody, pages of the regs so that so we can working read it. on a fifty horse water pump being called a labor or a. Uh, you yeah. know what I mean? Adding yeah. chemicals to your oh, water. Yeah, someone adding chemical to your your drinking <laughs> <Yeah>. water. <there. laughs> the labor is in there. <laughs> yeah. All right, good job, Judge. Uh, okay, uh, is my report. <laughs> yeah, so we took care of that Sorry. union position. 
I know right. it's hot. I'll try to get I'll try to get through as fast as I can. Uh, the sewer, I, I we've been so busy. I didn't really get a report on Mike, but I know they've been out jetting. Uh, they did a big manhole project last night to one one o'clock in the morning. I was with them to fix a uh, the manhole in front of the fire station. They did a great job. The three of us were the only ones there. The highway came in with one guy to help with flagging uh, traffic because we couldn't get a police officer to help. But uh, we were able to get the job done. Came out good. I also was able to shut the fire station down and get find the shut off from the old service. Uh, and take care of that along with that project. So uh, we had it to hot topped, everything hot topped and done, which was good. Um, we've had issues at the uh, cemetery. I just, this is kind of off the cuff. Uh, they've been, they keep hitting the pipes there with the lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> they keep hitting the pipes with the lawnmower there. So we, we've able, to, we're isolating one and shutting it down, uh, shutting one of the stems off. Uh, it's an old system they did there. And it, the problem is now is that it's, it's back siphoning into the main because it's an old, old line that goes in. And we're gonna have to get a, uh, a uh, I don't know who's even running the cemetery commission or the selectmen. Well, selectmen we're selectmen. gonna have to get a uh, anti-siphon device put in there to uh, stop that from happening because we can see the meter going backwards as it, as it, back, flow, as it, as it back siphons in. How can you pet. siphon it in if you got pressure on Corbin Road? It, it just, it comes in off the hill of the thing and goes down and then into the, and we don't know how far it's going, but I, I gotta have a back siphonage in there because it's just, it's just not. Yeah. That needs to be done immediately. Yeah, doesn't have to be elaborate. Maybe a check valve type. Uh, it has to be an RPZ. I think it RPZ. has to be an RPZ. Be an RPZ because a testable what, device. What type of uh, line is it's it? Just a, it's just a old uh, iron line that goes in. Nice piping, right? Yeah. Well, at least it's not plastic. Yeah. No. Oh no, you kidding me? Otherwise, we'd be. So all that means set. you'd have to find it, dig it. We know we have it. it. We have it in the pit. Oh, you have a pit. We have a meter in the pit. Oh, okay. You okay. Can it's see after it. you can see the meter as a, as it's you know. So anyway, they, they got it they got it working now because we can't have no water in the cemetery. People right, want right, to go. Right, right. Uh, but uh, but well, just to let you guys, how's the, how's the elevation there though from where the meter pit is? It goes starts to rise up about uh, a couple feet. So that's it, probably. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I mean, Jay probably it, knows this. That yeah. Well, what I'm getting at, yeah, RPZ. You have all those hose bibs out it's there. It's supposed somebody to be could, above those, but yeah, <laughs> somebody yeah. could be out there with their miracle grow with the with the water can yeah. and with sucking miracle grow back. Into the water main. That's Do you have like the yard hydrants out there? No, no, no hydrants in all in that cemetery. It's just just iron piping. It's like uh, just a faucet. Yeah, just just a faucet. faucet. It's like one inch line. So that just, might have to come yeah, up yeah. out of the pit. It branches off in iron couplings. Yeah, keys, you definitely have and to go back down again. Yeah, that should be yeah. that should be backflow protected. Yeah, yeah. 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 we just want to do that. Back. We want it's not our responsibility in there. That's a, that's the cemetery. Right. So you we, should just have a just containment RPZ at the beginning. Yeah, just that thing, and I have to. I'll have to make a. The uh, 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 selectman would have to approve that. Who does your? Uh, so to me, they do all your Back surveys and. Brian goes with them as our representative, and they do all our surveys. Um, he's not aware of that situation. Well, so I was say you should probably have him come out and survey it. Probably the next round we will. Uh, I'm not pushing this right away fast, but because we shut this off through the fall and winter season. Yeah, so in the fall. Yeah, so next year we'll, when he does our new surveys, we'll have him look at yeah, that. Because once he identifies, you only have 14 days to fix it. Yeah, so. well, it's, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to rustle everybody's feathers out. You need all this stuff now. I just <laughs> yeah. want to say it, it has to happen sooner. What's later. a backflow? What's an RPZ cost? Oof. It's expensive. A couple thousand. They're all yeah. brass. Yeah. And it ha it's called a testable device. Right. Where if like Tumi goes out and it fails, which means it allows back siphonage, then you have to put the new rebuild kit in. Yeah, so you, you have to yeah. have that. Plus you have to have a rebuild kit on site. On site. Yeah. So. Oh. Well, like I said, I, I'm not opening the can of worms totally. I'm just letting you know that it's well, coming down. Well, you're responsible to protect <clears throat> water to the well, that's a, that, 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 that Our responsibility is to protect yeah, water. Yeah. water. If it comes to it, yeah, then, we shut, your license. The, yeah. then yeah. we shut the cemetery down and you know? Yeah. We'd have to figure out other ways to get water yeah. in there. Yeah. Because trust me, it's going to be a lot more expensive if you have an it, issue with the back flow. Yeah. That's <clears> what taken <throat> care of. Do you have a pricing, Jay, on something like that to present, like paperwork to present? I can. Well, I actually think it should come out of the ground, up above ground, so they can service it, then back down into the ground again. So you'd have to put some posts in the ground to anchor it to and rig it up with like Union Connection so you can break it in the wintertime. And put it, put it we away. have one at the soccer field down yeah. here in West Dudley. Yeah. But that's why I was saying you might want to have a survey because they'll tell you how it has to be set yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can call two me in yeah, to do yeah, it. You know, you know. How much? Uh, does, how much they charge you for a survey? I don't remember offhand. Because like when I work with the Southbridge Water Department, they have their drawing. Oh yeah. So many inches, thirty-six to forty-eight inches off the floor, twelve inches off this wall, twelve inches off yeah, that wall South, in a building. Southbridge is a good one to grab their spec book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's. <laughs> 
yeah, yeah. they have everything covered. Yeah, yeah. Well, which so is, that, <clears throat> yeah. So that, that's something that should be taken care of. Um, okay, so, like I said, sewer, sewer's been out there. They've been doing some jetting. Uh, they had that project go on. They're doing some starting of the reading of the meter wells now. Um, I had a bunch of other, so I, I, I apologize. I don't have the full reports and stuff, but I just got finished with them this morning, and uh, we had a bunch of stuff come at us at once. Um, Rather you be doing work than if you, yeah. as long as you're working. Oh yeah, the they, they, work they, they've wait. been doing a, everybody's they've been, been shot manpower wise. Reports, reports can wait. Yeah. Um, last uh, last month, this month's bacteria sample came back clean. Thank God. Last month we did have an issue with one. I'm not going to mention the site. Uh, there was a hit, a coliform hit. It went into close to uh, E. coli, and it turned out to be a sink, a sink that was used that we had no choice. The other normal place was not working. So we took a retest automatically. DP notified everything was fine. It turned out clean. So it, it was something somebody had done some stuff that they shouldn't have on it. And mm -hmm. of course, so we, we can only safeguard so much. But we have yeah. our designated sites. As long as you're catching it, that's yeah. why you test. So, so um, positive, total, negative E. coli? Yeah. Uh, they, they did test E. coli on it, but um, he, so it he said it looked kind of, it was like a weird. So it was positive uh, on Yeah. It. So uh, he says, uh, as I talked to, um, talked to DEP, and then she right away says, so take your retest because it doesn't sound right, especially in the area that we usually go, is everything's always clean in that area. Who'd you so. report to? Uh, uh, Andrea. Andrea Lemery's. Lemery's, Mercy's or Lemery's or Lemery's? Uh, Lemery's. Lemery's, yeah. yeah. So, um, so everything's fine there. And here's the sort of good news. Um, main station test wells were completed. Five sites were done. Three were approved near the station within the 50-foot range for, for good potential water source. Um, they're going to go in. They have to go and do a little bit more testing there, but the preliminaries look very well, very good. He's about 30 feet down. Um, they uh, are now in the hands of our of the engineer, which I'll kind of debrief you on later. And he's saying that uh, the reports for the station one will be starting to submit to DEP. But that's not the primary reason, uh, the primary uh, project right now. Station three is. Station three is our well, uh, Bob, that's our, one of our primary uh, pumping stations. It's one of two. Um, they also did conducted a test well over in station three. I think they want to do one more there to verify something uh, after talking to Frank Sullivan. But the one they hit to the right of the station, there's a well test, a well head that you'll see there, tested very positive for a good source of water. So we're very positive with that. That project is starting now through the engineer. As a matter of fact, while I have that on cue, that engine, uh, I had asked Jay to sign the engineering plan which I can give you guys to take a look at. This is for the services needed to start the project at Station 3 to get that online, to get that well ready to go, test uh, board. Uh, everything that DEP is required, uh, as us do, and the engineers required to do, is all listed out here. Uh, and this just gives copies. Get it. copies. I'm hoping this can come online beginning of fall or somewhere in the fall, uh, but I can't say for sure when. It's all a matter of the state uh, and how they proceed I'm sure they'll move if, if, it, if they know they the like I said they the, they're aware of the situation like I stated before I had conversations with Bob Boswick uh, uh, well the people at DEP we had a we had a, like a four-way conference call I had so much information they had to stop me in my tracks because they couldn't catch their breath um, because we we're talking about tanks and then stations and then this and then that uh, and as I said before the stations were put on the priority list station three was the priority because of the impending issue could have and then the main station project to try to see if we had a viable third well source back. That was the other one. See, you concentrate on that for the next year or so, get those bit online and see what you get, and we'll work on the tank. Well, that's, why they, that's why they held back on the tanks. Tanks, right? held back tanks. He said the tanks are really in good shape, kind of good shape, yeah. but uh, yes, we are going to have to clean them. We have to do that, whatever. But we've been in them. We know they're yeah. clean. Um, I'm meeting tomorrow with the town administrator, town treasurer, tie in bond. We are beginning the preliminary stages for the SRF loan um, that I had asked Jay to sign earlier in the week because of the fact that time constraints, because uh, it needed to get started right away. Uh, Bob has been briefed on it too a little bit. So uh, we are going to be using that tie-in bond to set us up a proposal to the state 
uh, which they're going to be doing a lot of research on our, on our situations, what we're going to be putting for, forward. I will tell you that Station 1 will be on that for the revamp of Station 1, and that means tanks and corrosion control, piping, wells, all that, if everything goes good, and I mean if it goes good, then we go to that stage for the project at Station 1. I have no idea what it's going to cost. I have no idea what they're going to really demand. I don't think anybody yet knows until they start looking into it. It's sort of on a little bit of the back burner right now because Station 3's project is paramount to get that done. That's the emergency situation. Um, the tanks would be another one on that. I don't know if they'll accept the tanks. It's not. They may look at more preventive maintenance. Yeah, budget-wise. Yeah, but like I said, I'm gonna, we're shooting for that. It's kind of a requirement, especially the old tank back in the 50s or 40s or 50s, whatever that Bates tank was put in. Uh, it does need some infrastructure changes. Nothing major, but some infrastructure. So that may be the saving grace a little bit on that. I don't know. Um, then at Station 3 is going to come in with a problem that I'm going to tell you about right now. Uh, to re we're going to have that also put on for tanks and piping, and I'll explain that in a minute. The other thing would be the AC pipe at uh, Mason Road from Mason Road at the fire station all the way through to June Street, laterals, and then from the where from June Street, it's been brand new where we did it a couple of years back, to uh, crossing with Dudley Road, all of Mason Road extension. It's, it's very bad. I've actually shut that leg off as far as circulating water because the pressure has been killing one section. We've been over there numerous times replacing the, the main. There's more plastic in that area than anything that else. That area, uh, um, the phase one and phase two are both over in that area, aren't they? The ones that were expiring the debt on next year. Uh, Dudley Oxford Road was done with the new main coming through there okay. between the two. But the area down, actually, no, that was no, done, you're that thinking was done, done, done self-help. Yeah. The, the, the down on Lakeside, Lakeview. When Lakeview, the connector connecting all the, and then all of those. Lake, Lakeview in that area is all transite down that way there too. It that's is, part of the project that's getting done. Your street, okay. all the laterals on your, okay. you know, all, that, yeah, all you that's did, part. You did a piece of Lakeview years ago yourself, two or three hundred feet. Yeah, 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 but that was just and a connection way. point to, to circulate. When, more. when the yeah, area's Barry Ave. Yeah. Um, and all those, those aren't transite, are they? Yes. Because that was all redone, that was all. Most oh, no, of that, no, 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 you're what? thinking of. I'm thinking sewer. Never yeah, mind. Yeah. Never mind. I'm confusing. Yeah, it would recover most of that. Like I said, it's yeah. all going to be. They're all going to be researching it. They're all going to be making a presentation package to the state because they don't give out five million or whatever just by saying, "Hey, can you give me five million? They want a full, complete package that's really detailed work. And Bob will tell you, it's going to be shovel. Yeah, ready. they want shovel ready for us. Yeah, right. yeah they, they want to make sure you're ready to go. It's they're tight, ready to go. Tight time Everybody's frame good. too. So in other words, when they keep using that word shovel ready, we don't have bids on that. No, no, no. you just have to have like Packet, design plans, yeah, plans. ready to but go. Could, so when you can put those, it out to you bid, you can get those printed you could up get, in a month. Yeah, yeah. And that's we we have to still go through a bidding. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure they have to go through a bidding. It's process. Process. Yeah. Bid. Say you were awarded that's a large sum of money for these jobs, then you could tell the engineering firm, hey, we're, we're, we, we qualify for X amount of dollars. Draw up that blueprint for that job now, so it can go out to bid. No, you have to have the you have to have the blueprints and everything ahead of time. Tie and bond's going to make up all the as soon as I at least preliminary the blueprints, not. So in other words, when they submit their paperwork to the state, page one could be that Mason Road job. They would it would be it would define our structure of how our facility our physical plant is number one. What we are all about, what our, how we branch out. You know, I'm just generalizing what areas that we're now looking at. Then we have to have a documentation of why we need these areas done. All the main breaks, all the cards, all the the AC pipe, all the yeah. I mean, all the, the, all the situations we've been through there, the breaks, the everything is going to be documented. Then it's going to be what with a price estimate. Oh yeah, with a price estimate. with an engineer's estimate. Engineer's estimate. Yeah, they have their own. Not not a blueprint showing every trans every piece of pipe with. Well, it'll show that so it'll be mapped out on a, yeah, on they, a they survey a, of the. I mean, the engineers are going to throw that together quick and easy. Yeah, yeah. they, they have grids. Computers. They have satellite stuff now. They got everything that just makes it easier. Yeah, to, to they can just put all new stuff in and take, yeah. take out the old yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, it's going to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they can't leave it. So the anyway, so uh, you can. You can translate. Well, yeah, that we would be better off leaving. We're going the opposite. To keep it live. While keep you're it on outside. You don't want to touch. You don't touch that. Like we did down here. But you don't have to dig it up and tear it out after. As long as you don't dig it out, you don't have. You can leave it. It's there. it's better left untouched. <laughs> yep. left oh, I know that for a number of reasons. Believe me, out of sight, out of mind. Out of sight, out of yeah. 
So anyway, um, that's just to give you a, uh, an idea about that. So that's what that was about. For the, and we have the, uh, I don't know, Scott, if you saw it, but there is a, I think I showed it to you. There's a, okay, good. I was here, I was here that week. All right, I want to make I was sure. in the building for hours. And like I said, I'm, I'm dead without a secretary, so. We're paying a fee for that, so we expect yeah. you know what they're doing. Yep. Yeah. That's their job. This is what, time, this was in that. Time bonds pretty All right. You got a, well, you have a copy have of a it there. Right? Yeah. This was in that email. That I That's their job. So tomorrow's meetings with Ty and Bond, and we'll be going over the, the, the whole uh, yeah, great. kit and caboodle and let the town administrator and town treasurer know because they're part of it too uh, as, the, as the treasurer for the town. So he wants to make sure he's in the loop completely. Um, now for the issue. Station 3 has an issue going on right now. Um, it has a cracked ball valve coupling which services both tanks, which is approximately 1,200 gallons of chemical. <laughs> um, this happened over last weekend when I was on call. Um, it's at a good rate of drip, okay? Um, thank God we didn't fill it all the way. This happened just after they got filled, of which course. explains because the actual anchoring process wasn't done quite right back in the day. But that's what it was. Yeah, well, it's it's got two-inch piping going into the tanks. The problem is, is that um, we... Are able the problem is is that we have to wait till both tanks drain completely down enough where we can go in and vacuum out the chemical into holding tanks what the we'll call it the residue because not all of it's going to go into the station for usage we're trying to keep station three first out line now right along let it go try to get it down we're working it down we're controlling the issue because it's a containment area it's it, I'm not telling you it's not a bad thing it's a very bad thing it, it's dangerous but we're controlling it. We've done, done this. I've done this before when we've had issues. Everybody has certain issues with chemicals. Uh, it's the nature of the game. You just got to know how to do it correctly and safely. So we go in with full protective gear whenever we do it. We're able to clean it up by way of a, a sump pump area where we can plug it far away and start uh, getting rid of it, dispersing it out. Uh, into a drain, you know, it goes out the station into a drain outside. It's already mixing with water because we have hoses in there already and vinegar already concentrating, mm -hmm. neutralizing the chemical. We have a holding little holding tank underneath, sort of slows it down a little bit. I had uh, uh, Webb in there. Um, Wayne Bennett has been our representative from Webb. He, uh, and I think Bob's familiar with him, he's out of Lowell. They have a major uh, broad spectrum of services from this type of problem to instrumentation, chemical feed pumps, analyzers, he's our analyzer. Analyzer guy, feed pump guy, the sandwich sort of get our parts and things from, and any kind of technical support. He came in, uh, they looked at it with their specialist, Steve, who I know very well for many years. Steve's done this kind of work too, and I've actually replaced valves myself. But this is a little bit different. We do not want to touch the pipe and, uh, and, and disturb it too much at the gasket, at the, at the bottom of the tank because we suspect the tank is out of its of its uh, life expect uh, out of its at the end of its uh, of a, yeah. yeah it's uh, DP recommended life okay it's 20 years basically in the tank is what 24 years back in 97 whatever it needs to be replaced however that's it's unrealistic right now to go through a complete whole project of redoing both things so we've agreed that I've asked them to splice out the valve not put a new one in put it in splice it out cut it out well, everything will be drained down, cleaned up, okay. Put in a new valve, two couplings, with a brand new type of valve, not a Hayward valve that we have there. They're not very recommended. And now I know why, because it's my that's third swim, valve. It's a swimming pool pump, Hayward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they make the valves for that. That's the ones they use way back in 97. I've already replaced one. What size tanks are they? Uh, one is a pup tank. It's about 300 gallons or so. Uh, the other one's about 900 gallons or so. The, the second tank was put in. I mean, they go higher than that. That's just how yeah. we have it leveled with it, but we can put more in them. But the second tank was put in by us just after 97, probably 98, 99, I don't quite remember, because we couldn't maintain enough level of chemical for Station 3's pumpage. Mm. And we kept, we'd have to keep getting chemical deliveries almost every other week. And it's just unrealistic. We couldn't keep going like that. So we put a old uh, other tank, poly tank, in under the stairwell to be a backup to that. So once the main tank draws down, you open that valve, which is the one that's having the problem, and that tank helps feed. It allows both stations to kind of run their courses together so your deliveries become universal for both. Um, because Station 3 is a lot more powerful than Station 6. 
and it's just the way it was. So what we're going to do is splice in this new valve right now, cure the problem, and as I go through the Station 1 revamp project, I'm going to add Station 3 for a new 1,500-gallon single tank with new piping, one-inch piping, not two-inch, one-inch piping, uh, and a new day tank, same as Station 1 is going to be the same situation, new tanks, new day tanks, new piping, new chemical feed pumps, everything that's going to bring it up to, up to snuff to what we have to do now. I mean, we it's hard, but 97 to now. Modernized, which need to modernize. Properties. Station 6 would be, is, is not giving us any issues. Where but there. that's going to be, that's going to be coming down the pipe too. So okay. uh, um, I might even, I might even talk to her about uh, putting that in on the, on the, on the project too, since get everything we can for what we can do. Uh, get it all done. If it will qualify, get, a, get I'm going to try for everything. Yeah, like I say, if the tanks at six are, uh, are, we can get those done too. Might yeah. qualify in the maintenance. So I, you know, unfortunately, uh, a lot is hitting us at once because uh, we've just everything has become old, and uh, you know, we keep updating certain things and other things come in, come into play. Um, but we're trying to make an effort at it uh, to get it to get it everything up to snuff. Uh, a new analyzer is coming in next week too. That's going to cure the station six issue because those analyzers are six years old and they're not working properly and they're alarming constantly. So I'm not going to keep having that go on. We need to have proper, proper uh, equipment. And we're, uh, you know everything else is okay for now. Everything is fine. Uh, we keep everything <coughs> uh, up, to, up uh, maintained, and we replace uh, chemical feed pumps as soon as one shows signs of any kind of deterioration. Mm -hmm. Our new Emic pump is doing very well. Uh, and our Madden pump on the other station is doing very well. And we have a backup Madden in Station 6. So uh, those are doing okay, but I'd like to replace one more Emic in Station 3 down the line shortly because it takes about eight weeks to get them, but I'll tell you, they're quite a pump. They're, they're European. I like them, yeah. I love Do you, them. Um, you don't have any spares on the shelf? I have older spares on the shelf. I saw those down. Yeah, and I'm using station. them as backup for right now, but I want to get one that I can put online and use the Madden as the backup because they're much better, they're more efficient, and they, they regulate the analyzer better. They don't, Maddens like to surge a lot and that causes havoc with the analyzers and stuff, my, yeah. my PH monitors, so. So that's kind of it in a nutshell. Uh, that, that's kind of the situation right now. Uh, so everything is under control. Uh, we're just hoping we can get as much out of it as we can. Uh, I've got till the 22nd is when they're coming down. So one way or the other, uh, whatever's left, we're going to have to pump off into some. Oh, that's some the next delivery schedule. <coughs> no, that's when the uh, web's coming oh, down coming to do the day. job. Oh, okay. Yeah, so everything has to be dry. Well, can you run Station Three a little bit more for that I period am. of time? Just we're running it as all all the time as much as yeah, we yeah, you know. Pump it down. Uh, oh. Yeah, but <laughs> the problem is the Station Six issue with the analyzer is causing that to alarm every yeah. time it shuts off. It turns on, it spikes. So I'm I'm almost almost trying to shut it down during the night. Let Three run and carry the load and put everything on while we're monitoring and we're there. Uh, to recalibrate and readjust when we have to. So we're working on it. We're getting it, we're getting it down. So uh, <laughs> that's my report. <laughs> how, much, how much containment do you have? The spillage, the they, they calculate to the spillage of the tank, uh, to, uh, but the one tank, not the two tank. Right, it's 110% so of the biggest yeah, tank. Yeah. yeah, but of the, are you talking about a station three, the one that's leaking right now? Yeah, the, yeah it's the one tank. It's the 900, 900. We have spillage for that. They allow for spillage for that one tank, so. uh, but I don't have it for the two. I mean, it, it would go if I don't monitor it, it could go over the two because we have the two tank put in. Right, but you can have two, but the legal requirement is 110 percent of the nine. Yeah, but that so was you see that when the station was built, it was built with one tank only, so it was spec right. for one tank. It's right, but you could put multiple tanks in there and you still meet the requirement. Yeah, but it's it, just it's of the largest single container in the. Yeah, in but the, the problem is, is I don't know if it meets that requirement even with that second tank because there's a stairwell that comes down into that containment area. So it would come in over that stairwell and, you know, I got to be careful with it. We had a spill a while back, years ago. Uh, it contained the day tank. The day tank <clears throat> emptied out and was feeding from the other tank for a good many hours. It got up to about four or five inches, called in, called in Zecco. They were a waste of time. They said, hey, you got a pump? <laughs> we could do that. Yeah, so we ended up learning how to contain it ourselves by monitoring it. We get the floats that alarm us to any certain level. Once that level goes off, we go in. We, we know we're exactly, hey, this is starting to rise. We got this problem. We can immediately disperse. We can, we can sump it out so we don't get to that point, which is good. So we're protected in that, in that, in that realm right there. Um, when DEP comes down for that sanitary survey, wouldn't they pick that up? Well, 
he's still like I said you can have multiple tanks in there mm -hmm. And you only have to have containment for the same 110 percent of the single largest container. But they, they need to be baffled so that no. one ten, they don't. No, no. So you can put all the you, you can put ten thousand gallon tanks in there. You Ours just need 110. Yeah. I'll show Bob the, you know, the setup. You know, thousand one hundred gallons. It's, I just need to see it. Yeah, then. we're limited in room. You'll see what I'm saying. Well, that's we, what I'm worried about. If you go to a f one fifteen. Well, no, we we they were in there measuring for that fifteen. It has to make sure it fits through the door. But the height wise will match the level, the height of the where it's where the one right now is. But it'd be have to be replumbed for the outside. But uh, if you only have containment for nine hundred ninety gallons, you're not going to have enough containment for that fifteen hundred um, gallon. Yeah, the problem is on that um, is even what we have now. Um, we need a certain amount of gallonage to meet, meet our demand of the station. We cover it on the back side because the back side is walled. But like I said, we got that stairwell coming down. So I don't know how that affects it as far as the actual, what they call the level of containment. Right. Um, the, the whole station is contained for that and that would match it. But right now uh, where we're at with the stairwell, the way it's come down, and we did some revamping way back when they had to make access yeah. because of the way. Uh, I'll show you. I'll see you. That'll be yeah. easy enough. So anyway, so that's. <laughs> yeah. Quick question: How are we making out on the uh, electrical alarm systems? The uh, as far as the station, uh, he's supposed. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Donnie had everything ready. One part wasn't the right one. He had to send back. I think he's coming in next week to finally start the. I mean, there's laptop, the skate and stuff, all the laptop work, all that is. Mm. I'm not into that. I don't know much about that stuff. Um, but there's laptop stuff involved, computer stuff, um, programs, tennis, that kind of stuff. All has to takes a while to start getting it. Station six and the main station are the first ones to be done because mm -hmm. the main station is a central. Focal yeah, point. yeah. To, to run. Um, but with all this other stuff going on, I'm glad he's not there right now because I want to take care of this problem first. Uh, I don't want to. We gotta, we gotta. Well, we gotta keep up on that yeah. because that's killing us with the overtime going in. The, yeah. So in well, the six the six's analyzer is our biggest problem yeah. with it. We were able to fix the modem mm -hmm. temporarily at station six, which helps. But that that uh, chlorine analyzer, which is absolutely, in my words, ridiculous, uh, is constantly spiking whenever the station turns on and off. The probe is not the right probe for that because they can't get a part for that. It's an old Emic Emic system. Now we've got the new one coming in next next week. He's got it coming. So he'll be doing the station three problem and putting in the analyzer station six. So we'll get that updated with both pH, chlorine monitoring on one analyzer. That should call to solve that problem. Station three is running okay, so I'm holding off a little bit. Let station three do its thing for a while and, and see how that goes. So hopefully we'll be and we'll on get track. The system is on, is and SCADA forward. system is we'll be putting in. Like I said, I, I, I'm going to kind of hold them back a little bit until we get these other problems fixed up. I don't want anybody going. In the stations are doing anything till I till everything is up to snuff. I really uh, absolutely. Is the town accountant going to go to the meeting too about the SRF? No, not that no. I'm aware of. She's part time, sort of. She's not real forty hours. Who t who does the borrowings for the town? Oh, town treasurer. Treasure. Treasure. She takes care of the truck. He the borrowings. He. Oh, yeah. he will be there, right? Yeah. Rich Carbonelli will be there. He's at on the meeting. board because yeah. he had to sign some of that. Town administrator. Board. It goes through us as far as the approval there, but the town minister approves it. I wanted him to approve it on his side, so they're involved. Actually, with it. he's the one that gave me the copy of the mm -hmm. high-end bond report. But um, I would just, I'd also have them look into seeing what, what they could get a loan for outside of SRF. If he just went and got a, did the borrowing on our he, own oh, instead oh, of oh, through. Oh, treasurer did did some. Well, we he, can ask that. Yeah, I'm not he looked. I did talk to him about that. We. He looked at that and he thought that loan was the, it was a two percent. I believe he was looking at. It's typically a two percent, but there's a lot of fees involved and there's a lot of hoops you got to jump through. Well, that's the thing. We we know that we've already getting that now. But sometimes it's not worth all the hoops they make you jump through. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you can get the loan on your own and be close to through the a commercial the bank, same, yeah. I mean, we did some of our borrowing through our local bank. And I'll we, ask him. We that got tomorrow. a better rate than we would have got through the SRF. I'll ask him that tomorrow, but he's so he's very gung ho with this. This loan thing, and he has a good chance of shot at getting in. And I'm well, yeah, everybody loves. I don't know why. I mean, I know they all love SRF. it. Uh, I hate it, but yeah, <laughs> I, I've already hated it now, and I believe me, I don't. Oh, know it's a nightmare. All the paperwork. And yeah, the red tape. That's why the engineers involved. You got to follow their schedules. Yeah. And, yeah. She, yeah. Marina, the uh, time bond says that the guy that they've got assigned to this is very good with this loan, and I says it better be for the, what the cost is going to be, and that we better have good. Better you know, I know it's a shot in the dark, and I'm willing to take it this time, but I'll all tell right, you. So you'd probably got a good shot at it. Yeah, with what I said, I keep piling stuff on. 
uh, they're going to look at us like, say, boy, please give it to them quick. <laughs> well, uh, we've never asked. We've, yeah, we we haven't, haven't asked. Well, Worcester, like I said, Worcester gets all these crazy loans for per projects here and there. This is an eight state project. You know, and, uh, enough of this. The, the, the little towns have to get some help, too, because we got a lot of problems here with well, all we've this. We've got to ask for it. Well, yeah, that's, well, that's, the thing is what, never that's what, for it. And that's the only reason I would say go forward with an SRF is because a lot of the, I mean, there's a lot of infrastructure grants coming out. Mm hmm and 99% of the time they do grants through SRF. So you have to have an SRF in order that they'll reimburse you through the SRF. They won't, you can't get the grant. And, and the other thing I was thinking, I may be off, but uh, if we don't get one right this time, and I don't know when the next one is eligible or how, they, how that works. It's once a year. Is it once a year? Um, we have a lot of the paperwork already, legwork already done. We might be able to jump in at a much lower cost because they've already got the. the yeah, they, it shouldn't take them that much to do. So it I mean, we got to get the least preliminary legwork done for them so that you know we can keep mm -hmm. going on and apply it. Keep doing whatever needs to be done to, to be sh yeah. shovel ready. Let them, yeah. know, let them know you're out there. Exactly. We, we, we're we're ready. we got we got to do something, Bob. Right, even on this able to oh, icy yeah. pipe, it's just ridiculous that. Well, that's the other thing I was going to say is you might want to put in as much as you can. I am. Just. Because you don't have just because you get it doesn't mean you have to move forward with all yeah. of it. No, no, that's the thing. As but long as we got it, we have it now. We're, we're able to delineate which is the most crucial yeah. job. Priority and right now, my primary is that in station one to get those we back got online. Water, water supply, yeah. Water Basically, supply. Uh, but no. none of this has been approved at town meeting, right? No. No, no. no. The station station three project was approved for emergency. Yeah. Station station one was uh, is our retained earnings. Uh, it's actually coming from the station. All, all those funds to do these jobs were taken out of retained earnings. For station three, the emergency. Three. Right. I'm just saying for the SRF, you might want to ask him if it no, has to. No, they, they don't indicate anything needed for a town meeting approval for that because we're going for a simple loan. I mean, we're going for a loan. It's our. We don't, we don't, uh, we don't have to have town meeting approval. No, we don't have town meeting for that. To, uh, to do work on the system. To borrow. No, not, uh, not to borrow that. Well, if it's in the hands of the treasurer, you, f you feel you're getting the right information. Treasurer, yeah, that's a good question. You know? Do we have to have town meeting approval to borrow? I don't. You do. Well, the SRF. I'm pretty sure you do. Put that on your notes for Any borrowing charge. has to get approved through town meeting, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, and have a f if, well, now that's good to know because we would have a fall town meeting. Well, if that's we what had I was all the specifics on this particular project. What month is fall bring? town meeting, though? October. October. Because you, you might be cutting it close, I think. The report's still going to go in. We're still paying this out of our own pocket right now to get the report into the state. To get the state. report from time. Yeah. Well, as far as the state, as far yeah. as any type of, the if I even need a. approval to, to, to borrow money. Yeah, well, we wouldn't be borrowing right, it by that you, time. It's take, it takes a good long. We can't apply for it. Uh, well, that's what I mean. I, you, you might check with time on. Just ask them if you need town approval bef to borrow the money prior you to the getting SRF. the SRF. Mm -hmm. I, th I got stiffed on that one year because we applied for SRF and normally you have enough time but mm. they came in and said oh some projects dropped off so yours qualified you're all set we'll give you the money and they're like okay so do you have your town approval I'm like well no and and we didn't have enough time to get a town meeting together even if we tried to have a special one your enterprise funds through the town or you oh no I'm an enterprise fund uh, but but yeah, all, I, 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 heard, I, I believe all know, borrowing. You can't. You can't ask for a loan uh, unless it's approved. Unless it's approved by the town already. So it's the chicken before the egg. You know. So what, what's your time frame on that? Uh, they're submitting that sometime in August. Yeah. When so you should be able to do the fall town so meeting because they'll the give state? you the notification in May. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's oh, a yeah. long process. Oh, that's what I'm saying. May. Oh Not yeah. Until next May. Oh yeah. yeah. It's okay. a long process. Okay. Yeah. So, so gonna, you might. They have, have to submit the paperwork to the state by sometime in August. Yeah. This that's going to be dragging on for months after that. So, so we have plenty of time if that's true. What you're saying, which I, I'll check with them tomorrow. At that point, yeah, just, we'll know how much money we need to put it on. Yeah, because I don't have a figure yet to even go with town meeting. Right. Anyway. But that's what I'm saying. You just make sure you meet the timelines yeah. to get it into like town I said, meeting. I'll, I'll go with with the with the town treasurer and the administrator tell me right uh, make sure but i will ask just them double check tomorrow. i do think that it has to be approved through town meeting yeah. or you're not even eligible to get it we should have been tipped off on that already well how, nobody how, knows about these loans yeah, it's brand know, new it's something but that you know how, how many towns do you think would apply for how many loans how many towns are oh lots of them 
Hundreds? Everybody's Thousands. trying. <laughs> Hundreds? You can pull up the list online. It's oh, yeah? All the ones I she got. Had, she had like a hundred times. Yeah. It was like yeah. crazy. crazy yeah, they, they have a certain dollar amount, and it just goes down the list. And they have it separated. They have large systems and then small systems. They have a certain dollar amount set aside for small systems. I still systems, got that so. block grant. Sure we're in the small system. Yeah. I still got that central planning, uh, central mass planning grant going on, which we should get here about, which is the Oxford Ave. Oh, yeah, area Jericho. There. Jericho. You know, it didn't meet the demographics to where I wanted to go, which was Mason Road. Yeah. But it's I can still do something with it. Over get, there. Is, that, working. is that a loan or is that a grant? That's a grant. That's a grant. Yeah. That you want to jump on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we already are. We're on it. We've done it. So uh, the we haven't heard, heard, heard anything, anything yet. No. Yeah. With, with, that's very that's scarce and hand. sporadic. Who gets that? Well, I mean, we got a good shot like anything else, but we'll see. Uh, just something. Right now, we have as much of a chance as anybody else. Anybody else? Yeah, yeah. So, so that's. That's it for today. All right. Okay, unless we have anything else, I'll make a motion to adjourn. All those in, is in second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Ted.